going on YouTube? Back at it again. As you can see, um, I went ahead and start spraying everything under the engine bay on the um, Grand Prix. And what I did was I taped everything that I didn't want to get paint paint on, and and I sprayed it. So far, looking good. It's still drying. But it don't look, you know, as bad as bad as it did at first. But I think it came out pretty good. Y'all drop a comment and let me know what y'all think about it. But right up in here, um, once I get this here under coating to dry real good, I'm gonna um, go ahead and start back cleaning that stuff right there out. I don't want to mess with it right now because I don't want to get, um, you know no dust or anything in the um, stuff that I already done painted but you can see I didn't tape all the way around the car so therefore I don't have to have no no excess paint getting on the, um, on the car at all and I went ahead and taped all this stuff here up I know I'm going to have to do the small touch ups because uh, I know I, I wasn't able to get every area under this engine bay but I pretty much got the biggest and the majority of stuff painted up. But yeah. Say so it's looking all bad under here. It's a good clean engine bay now. So I must say, you know, it'd be easier for him to get some stuff done. It'd be way easier to get him for him to get some stuff done. Yeah, I don't know my phone was ringing, so it kind of throw me off a little bit, but so far pretty good I don't know if y'all can see it the sun ain't blank blinding y'all I hope not hope. yeah I just wanted to make this video and let y'all guys see how it turned out y'all can come in and let me know what y'all think I think it came out pretty good so when I get ready to start putting everything back together on this motor which I done went and got um, two of the freeze plugs that I needed to put back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw them back in here once this all dry. And uh, I'll go to touching up on some of these areas on here that I missed. And that way I can get this car going here and get this car back to run, back running like it, you know, supposed to. But, um, yeah. Right here on this door, for the time being of this car sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and just start sanding in this little area here. So I can get ready to go ahead and start putting the, um, his mirrors on there. And also, same thing for this side. Um, I'm sanding it down and try to make it look better than it do right now. And then I can get back in there and start putting everything back together in the inside of the car. But I'll turn you on once I get some more stuff done. You guys, drop a comment and let me know what y'all think about it. I got some old videos with the Grand Prix before I, uh, you know, start taking the motor down and start getting everything cleaned up that y'all can go check out. And let me know what y'all think about this here. Just for the ones who new to my channel, maybe you didn't see the old video. But yeah, this is the old uh, engine plane I use, which was a Chevy orange. And I just about got everything painted under here. So yeah, y'all check this out. Like I said, y'all cover in. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, YouTube, back at it again. So I got everything situated under the um, hood. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on the trunk of this car. As you can see, the rust started to get a hold to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just sand it down and um, 
go on ahead and, and, and treat it. That way we ain't got to worry about that, you know, that rust getting any bad on the car. And the reason for that was I just realized that, see, Kai got this gap right here, which is gonna have to be moved to the center. But this, this, this gap right here, it wasn't no gap. So it had a little spot up here. Back here was open like that. And I'm thinking, let me see, can I show it to you? So I'm thinking that's how water was getting in there to, to cause the damage to the trunk. But hopefully that's what it was. So what I did was I just took it apart and closed everything back down and, and hopefully it'll stop the water from going further up, uh, in the trunk. So right now I'm finna get the sanding and yeah, I am gonna straighten it up. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna have to take it all the way back off and trying to kind of sell it dead in the middle of it that way we won't have no problems but i'm gonna go ahead and start sanding this trunk so i can get some of this rust uh taken care of and i'll cut you back on once i get everything done okay youtube i pretty much got everything sanded down um got a couple of little bad spots in it and Right there, the tote that it had sitting in the trunk, which is right here, is where it had water. I guess the water was sitting inside that, and it was leaking all over the trunk. I guess from the rain getting in here some kind of way. But yeah, pretty much got everything all cleaned out of it. Got everything sanded, that's straight, all the areas. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just scrape all around this here and fix this area just in case it have rust underneath there and um, that area go bad so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know try to fix that while I'm at it but um, this is gonna be it for the day and in the morning um, with the Lord said the same we're gonna get no bad weather uh, what I do is I'll start by um spraying some vinegar and water that's what I be using the um to put on this rust and I got some other kind of um the container of rust um treatment that I be using I don't have it right now so I, I can't remember the name but I be using that as well so but I'm gonna I'm spray it all down with some vinegar and water and let it soak for a couple hours that way you know it'll, it'll go ahead and kill it and get it all right so i'm gonna get all that cleaned out and once i get everything cleaned out and you know, um sealed um i i turn you back on and make another video and let y'all see how the end results come but i want everybody to thank you for watching um hit the like button subscribe share turn your notification bell on that way you'll be updated every time i drop a video Y'all, I'm going to try to bring y'all a video on this one tomorrow. Like I said, if the weather run on um, rain. Because I want to be working on this car um, constantly for the next couple of days. Because I need to catch up on a little work that I have to do to it, man. So I can go ahead and get this one done as well. Because um, with the um, Cutlass video coming soon, I'm like 80% done with the body work on that car. Where I'm waiting on my guy. To bring me the primer and some old materials that I'm gonna be needing, and once he bring that to me, I'll be doing another video on the cutlass. So y'all stay tuned to that too. And like I said, thanks for watching and peace out.